Okay, so we're working with Immersion RC and uh, the flagship product of Immersion RC is their Vortex drone. It's a very cool drone. And they were kind enough to send us their 3D model of the drone. But the problem is they make their model in a CAD program, which means you can get very accurate, but also very dense and very high poly. So when we take a look at this, at this model right here, you can see it's very accurate. But when we select it and we look at the wireframe, you can see it's very, very dense. Uh, I think it's around 140,000 polygons right now. Yeah, 139. Um, so what I did is I took this CAD model, uh, imported it into Maya, and then I went piece by piece and reconstructed the geometry uh, as a low poly model. Uh, and we ended up with this. So yeah, this is about yeah, 25,000. Uh, the thing is, if you see them side by side, even though this one is way lower poly, from a normal viewing distance, you can barely see it at all. Okay, so one of the things we really want to show off um, is the level of detail we have in, in the drones. And we're kind of uh, you know, comparing it to, to modern race games, uh, where you can get into your garage and, and maybe um, add new parts to your, your car um, or do customizations. So we really want to imp implement that in the game. Um, and that's why we're taking extra care in adding enough polish and detail to our, to our game models. Um, so one of the things that I've been doing, and which was really fun by the way, is um, adding these fingerprints or finger smudges on the drone to give it a feel that someone's been handling with it, uh, been handling it, or, or been playing around with it. This could be the drone you start out with in, in the beginning of the race. It's very clean and it doesn't have any dents or dings or scratches. Um, but then we can add like damage. Um, I think I have a layer here. So you can add like scratches and and, cr and, and dents and stuff like that. And it's really easy to, just to make these maps um, right here in Substance Painter and then to basically use two mouse clicks and export it out to Unity um, so we can use it in the game. The first video we saw of drone racing took place in a forest, uh, which was very cool. And that's why we decided to make our teaser video also take place in a forest. Now, one of the most difficult thing to, things to do in a video game is make trees, uh, because trees, they consist of very, a lot of different elements. You got the trees, you got the branches, uh, which is pretty difficult to make. Uh, but fortunately for us, uh, there's a program, program called Speed3. It's being used by just about every game company out there. And we can get very realistic looking trees in this program.